My name is Stella Simbewe, I'm 24 years old and I live here in Mandeva. You stigmatize yourself, you, you, you think people are looking at you like uh, you can't do anything and you fear, that's the fear in you, you can't come out yourself. You fear, you make people look at you like uh, you are somebody who is not, uh, not capable of controlling your, your morals or sexual. People believe that teenagers don't have sex, people, the teenagers are, are just at school, they just maybe they're just doing something busy, but that he doesn't engage himself in drug abuse, bad behaviors, and also in sexual intercourse. I'm now with my group with Young Ambassadors for the Bright Future with NZP Plus. We like meet together, they discuss matters that arises now, receive new information about each other and share among us. If there's need to find more people who are like us, we find them and we will make them join us, so they can they can't they can, they can be stigmatized by anyone. If they understand they will be they will be free and they will be healthy. Because mostly it's the men who go to work and women at home. So the like, division of labor they separate. Maybe a woman will go to the clinic, a man will go for work. And they've just limited time of a man to be free to go with a woman to the clinic. The wife will go alone. And uh, when the wife is tested again, the husband has to know. The men mainly, they have that, that pride in them to say they are healthy. Maybe because they're strong, maybe because they think they are just with that support, they are the breadwinners of the house, so they control the house. I think a man should be the one to take a woman for maybe first antenatal visits so they can be tested together. If a woman supported that man, there will be no fear of her receiving any results because it's a man who receives them first, then they have the wife second. So that there will be courage there and there will be a support from a family. And the family will be built because they'll be counseling for a couple counseling which will help them stand as one. Now I can say they must be aware of the disease. Most of them are aware, but just it's just that ignorant in them. Do not stand firm and to speak about it, the the pandemic. What is there is the I would urge them to come forth and to, to be open with themselves. Not to be to be not with anyone, but to be because this is confidential. If they become open, they will live a life that is healthy.